Well, looks like the construction site got a little more dangerous. What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Scrap Metal. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a Scrap Metal. His name is Constructicon Scrap Metal from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Transformers. On this side of the box, we have a Devastator, and again, I love the little actual Devastator symbol up there. On the other side of the box, Scrap Metal. He is a Deluxe Classic. Let's do a Classic. Let's do a Classic. Let's do On the top, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots and you have a one sentence bio in multiple languages. Hooray for languages. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along here, we have Scrap Metal, the next of our Movie Constructicons here, and here he is in his vehicle of constructionage, done in mostly yellow and black. And we're getting close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see he gets nice metallic blue paint there for the windshields and windows. Again, a lot of yellow and black going on here. Well, that's some pretty nice detail going on. You get some gunmetal gray here on the sides of the treads. And not too shabby looking. A little bit of that metallic blue there as well. Some more black. Little railings going around. And there's the bottom. It does have the three rolling wheels. You can roll them around. It actually does roll around quite smoothly. That's nice. Nice and smooth. And the arm section here is on a hinge at the base that can move forward and back. Has a hinge right here that can move up and down. And this can also move forward and back as well. Doesn't rotate, just due to the way it transforms, this section doesn't rotate, but you get articulation there. So there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Voyager Prime. Here he is with Voyager Megatron. And here he is with his fellow Constructicon, Voyager Rampage. So, there you go. And that is basically it for the alt mode. What you see is uh, what you get. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> That's... There we go. Get back here. But, uh... First, as usual, we're going to go into combined mode first, and then we're going to go into robot mode. And again, into combined mode is pretty easy. You want to take this panel right here, and you do want to pop this off. What? Parts forming? Shh. 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 It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I'm going to take this and put this off to the side, and we can commence. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this section right here, just untab it from the side of the body and all of this will just come up on a double hinge here then you just swing it around like so kind of bring that down take this section bring this down and then come in here and flip out this section right there and you got that done the other side just going to take all of this and bring that up and just swing that around and unfold this section, rotate it, and come under here, and flip out this section right there. Just kind of make sure everything's kind of aligned here. And you take this whole section right here, and just bring that back, like so. You want to flip out a little connector peg right there. And you want to take these bits, which are his feet in robot mode. You just want to bring them up like so. And these side sections here, you're just going to unpeg. And they're just going to angle out a little bit. Yeah. Oops. Not all the way. There you go. Let's make sure you don't undo everything else there. There we go. And those just kind of angle out slightly like that. 
And there you go. There you have the combined mode and scrap metal becomes a hand for a devastator, a big claw hand for a devastator. And uh yeah, that's that's the combined mode right there. He turns into a hand. A big old big old claw hand. Not too shabby. Now the instructions don't say anything about this piece. I don't know if this goes anywhere. I mean, granted, you could just kind of tab it back where it was in the vehicle mode. Just tab it under there or something, you know. Just that, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to end up, you know, stored somewhere else on Devastator. I, I don't know. I mean, that's that doesn't fit there. That doesn't do nothing. They do boo. I don't know. We'll just leave that to the side for now. But yeah, there's a combined mode. He's a hand. Woo! Hand. Mr. Claw. The Claw! There you go. So that's it for the combined mode. So on to robot mode. So we'll just flip this back in. We'll just bring this down. Gotta get that out of our way. And we shall commence with the robot mode. So you're just going to. Untab the treads here. They tab in two places. They tab in right in there, and this tabs right up in there. So just untab the legs and bring them down. You want to rotate them at the thigh here. I need to take the legs and just bring them back on that double hinge. Then you just open up the toe, open up the heel. They have a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. Rotates. Bring that back, toe, heel, done. So we got that. And now we will move on to the upper body. Just want to flip down this panel right here, flip out the head, turn around, close it back up, just bring that down. There you have the head. And you just take the shoulders, bring them forward, and they'll just tab right into those grooves right there. Like so. Now uh, we can take his crotchial region here and just bring that up. That'll just snap into place right there. Like so. And then we can just bring his arms down. And rotate them. And he does have little claws of his own here that we can open up. Like so. Bring the arm down. Rotates. Come in here. Open up his little claw hands. And we just come back here, and this just collapses up onto his back, like so. And then we just take this panel here, that will just plug into his form. And there you go. There you have Scrap Metal in his robot mode. And he's a good looking little Constructor Con dude. I like him. I like this design. I don't know. I dig it. I dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin of his. And again, as you can see, mostly done in yellow and black. He does have painted eyes. They are in there. They're, they're in there. It's just hard to see, but the eyes are painted. Again, it's got some yellow and black in there. You got a little bit of that gunmetal gray detailing in his chest. You got that metallic blue there. A little too shabby. Like I said, I like the design of him. I think he looks kind of cool. Got his little claw hands. The claw! The claw! And moving up the back, you know. Not too shabby. A little bit of a backpack just with this piece, but... Oh no, not too bad now. Articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, you can look down a good bit. If you use that transformation hinge, you can get them looking down even more. And of course, can do a full 360. The shoulders are on a ball joint, you can do a full 360, you can move in and out. You can use that transformation hinge if you need some extra movement that way or something if that's you know want the shoulders to sit lower hey it's totally up to you what you want to do there and a little bit of forward and backward movement as well uh, as far as the elbows go you do have a double jointed elbow the top joint is just a hinge right there and the bottom joint is a ball joint so you have full range of movement there at the elbow and you do also have rotation there as well so a claw hand 
can move forward and back. You can kind of open and close that. Same on both sides there. You can open and close that if you want. Uh, nothing at the waist, just due to the way he transforms. The hips are on a ball joint. Legs can go forward that far. You can do them high kicks back that far before this little bit gets in the way. This leg can go a bit farther because there's nothing in the way of it. So you can get that going on if you wish. As far as knees, you have that double jointed knee there. So you have that that can move forward and that, that can move back right there. And the toes can move downward if you need. The heel can move downward if you need to support poses. There is no ankle tiltage. That's pretty much it there. And there are no accessories unless you count this, uh, this bit. I don't know if you count that as an accessory, but <laughs> yeah, no weapons or anything. What you see is what you get, so. There you have that, and then now for Kampara Sun. Here he is with Studio Series Clunker Bumblebee. Here he is with Voyager Prime. Here he is with Voyager Megatron. And here he is with Voyager Rampage, and we can see how the team is starting to shape up. So, there you go. And last but not least, as always, we have the included base of displayage here, which is in the box. Get out! And open it up, and there you have the pyramid right there. Studio Series 41 of Transformers, little Devastator symbol. Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen logo. And we can take scrap metal, just drop them down there. And voila! Displays! Hooray for displays. So there you have a scrap metal. Um, he's a cool little bot. I like him. Good alt mode. Um, really like the design of the robot mode. Everything works as it should, so no issues. So overall, uh, well done. Fun figure, in my opinion. So two down and uh, six to go. Actually, I thought Devastator was only going to be six bots, but no, he's going to be eight. Eight bots. So yeah, we got a ways to go. We got six more to go, but we'll get there eventually at some point, somewhere in time. We'll, we'll, we'll get this done. But looking forward to it nonetheless. So there you go. Now these are popping up at your local Walmart. So you can check your Walmart to see if they have these in stock. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. So you can check that out. You can also check out the Transformers and Movie Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below. So you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Scrap Metal. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Scrap Metal. Just so you know, if you see that fallen guy around, um, just, 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 just do what he says. But, but Lord Megatron, I, I thought you'd take orders from no one. Well, yeah, but, you, 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 just do what he says. But, but my lord, just do what he says or I'll kill you. Oh, is that why you're doing what he says? Get out of here! Yes, Lord Megatron. Jeez. So hard to find blind obedience these days.